So your public JSON schema inside the file definition of the PBIR files broke everything. So uh, Tommy <laughs> and, and the community here knows I have made the uh, my team, not really me, I've, I've kind of visioned it, but my team has really developed it here. We have, I would say, probably the most robust theme generation report creation tool that's out there that's outside of desktop. Uh, we have a wireframing system. We have coloring. We have all the theming properties of the of the tool. And this actually started out as just a side pet project. I was annoyed with the JSON color themes, and I built a little tiny color picker. And from there, it kind of evolved into this massive tool that lets you pick colors and themes and, and properties on, on visuals and things. So your public JSON schema inside the file definition of the PBIR files broke everything. That little thing called dollar sign schema was required. So if you are, so let me just another word of caution for those of you who are building theme files or mucking with these files separately. If you have an old version, if the, if the schema does not exist, desktop will throw a fit at you. Something changed in Microsoft in the, in June that required the schema to be part of the solution. It has to be in the file. And you cannot have a PBIX or PBIP formatted project anymore without the schema being attached to it. So our tool that was building PBIP files from scratch, which is what our tool does, we build a PBIP file from scratch, um, you know, literally writing the code to make the file. We didn't include it because it was an optional. So we ran into a massive issue. All of a sudden everyone's like, oh I can't open my files. It's broken. What's going on? And so we had to like quickly turn around and say, okay, we need to figure out what the problem was and it was the schema file.